New tonight, we are learning more about the lawsuit filed against a former Tampa nightclub owner accused of sexual assault and exploitation. He first gained notoriety when he made an inflammatory post on social media about protesters in Tampa a month ago. Eight on your side's Marco Villarreal joins us now live in Tampa with more. Marco. Well, good evening. Tonight I spoke with the attorney of three women who are accusing the former owner of Franklin Manor of sexual abuse. They say he used drugs, alcohol, and his position of power to get what he wanted. But now the attorney tells me while he represents three women, there's more victims out there. It's the social explosion that caught the attention of the Tampa community. It was this Instagram post by LaFranco Piscante where he said, just shoot them all, in reference of those protesting the death of George Floyd. Social media lit up. There was anger over the post. And then women began claiming they'd been sexually assaulted by the former owner of Franklin Manor. This isn't a he said, she said scenario. It's a he said, we said scenario. And so that's why I think a lot of these women thought that that was a good avenue for them to come forward on. Tampa attorney Joseph Alvarez represents the three Jane Doe's in this 26 page civil complaint. They allege that Piscante used alcohol, promises of preferential treatment at the downtown nightclub, and threatened negative repercussions at work. Included in the allegations, Nocturnal Group LLC and Piscante's partner, David Anderson. By all accounts from victims, he knew of this of what uh, Piscante was capable of, but continued to allow his business partner to create the schedules and to run some of the business operations at their facility. Alvarez tells Eight on Your Side, while only three women are bringing the suit, there are more victims, some who fall outside the statute of limitations. He says there are stories of abuse from Piscante going back more than a decade. His life interrupted after one social media post. Had he not done that, he probably would still be abusing women to this day. And those three women are hoping that this will empower the victims of sexual abuse to seek justice. As for LaFranco Piscante, the state attorney and the FBI are investigating him. We tried to contact him, but we're not able to reach him tonight. Reporting live in Tampa, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.